Whether you're looking to become a professional DJ or just impress the ladies, I've got the DJ controller that will take you all the way. All the way. I'm Philip Nelson for Geek Beat Music. Geek Beat Music. When it comes to DJ controllers, the standard is Pioneer. When you visit any of the major clubs, this is the gear you see, something made by Pioneer. Fortunately, Pioneer has an entire line of DJ controllers to fit any budget. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the DDJ-SR. This controller retails for $599. The way that the hardware is actually laid out is you have two turntables. Um, turntable one, turntable two. They're identical. And in the middle, this particular model has a two-channel mixer, so you'll have um, your, um, trim, um, your EQ, and then your high and low pass filter, which this is a super cool addition to have it as a knob. And then in the middle, you have master level headphone mix, sample volume. You have some faders to adjust your audio levels. And this is your cross fader, which actually allows you to select which turntable is feeding out to your PA. Also, the DDJ-SR has 16 performance pads, and there's different functionality from hot cue, roll, slicer, sampler, and when you select sampler, it'll actually play a sample. Um, so it's pretty cool. It's a very nice system. What's also nice is you have two very large jog wheels that have multiple functions. If you um, have your hands on this metal part, it'll actually scratch, and then you can actually uh, skip and, uh, and fine tune where you are with the side of the wheel. Another thing that's really important about this particular unit is that it's USB powered. I don't have to have a bunch of cables. Um, I just plug USB into my Mac and it gets its power there. And the DDJSR has a built-in sound card. So you just basically are controlling the music and data coming from the computer and then your output is going out to your PA and your headphones. Now I want to give you a little quick you know, overview of how I'm particularly using it today. Normally you would have the RCA outs going out to your club and then the DJ would have a headphone. But for the, for the sake of recording this, this particular review, we're actually just giving you a headphone feed. So you're only going to hear what the DJ would hear. So let's bust out some headphones and let's get started. We're going to start off by loading in some clips. And the software that comes with the DDJSR is called Serato DJ. Okay, so I'm going to select using the wheel on the interface. I'm going to select Hey Brother, hit load on the left side, and you'll actually see that we have Hey Brother loaded over here. Um, I can adjust the tempo, and it's 128 beats a, a minute, um, so I want to set it to its default. And you see the beat count actually here at the top. And on the right side I have titanium, and you'll see that that's at 126 beats a minute, so I can actually adjust it to match 128. So that way they're going to match as they play. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to make sure the headphone mix is set to master. We're going to start off with Hey Brother, so I hit play on the controller. Now while this is playing, I'm actually going to go to the headphone mix and I'm going to cue up my next clip. So if I rotate the headphone mix knob, Hey Brother will still be playing out into the club, but now we're going to go cue up our next song. So on deck two, I hit play. I turn on cue. I can actually use shift and go back to the beginning using the cue button. And let's say we want to start right there, and I'm going to hit pause. So um, let's say I want to start right here, and usually you work about 8 to 16 beats ahead. So Whenever I see a, uh, a, a beat point come by that's marked, I'm going to try to hit play. So it's not quite queued up, it's not quite synced, so using this I'm actually going to rotate it. I can actually pause it and try to let it go right on that moment and then actually adjust it with the side. So now that cues up a little better, it should be hitting on the beat. And now if we're going to go back and listen to our master mix, so that's what's going out to the club. And now if I want to do a low pass filter, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring down the low-pass filter and then rotate it to deck two. So you see it's a nice little transition. When Pioneer asked me to review this, I warned them. I've never DJed before. I know nothing about DJing. And they're like, good, 
see what you can do with it. It's actually very, very easy to use. So we've mixed two songs. Also, it has a built-in sampler. So during a musical interlude, we can do it. We can trigger a sample. Here he comes. I'll wait for it. Wait for it. So I just said rock the beat. And I can even bring it out and roll a sample. So you get the idea that it's really easy to blend in, throw in some samples, mix one song to the next, and have really nice transitions and control the mood of your party or your venue. Um, some other things that this, this uh, product actually has built in is I want to show you some of the effects. So there are three effects on each of the, the decks, and if you look at the interface, it's set to reverb, delay, and echo. So by simply turning on effect one, so we can turn on reverb. We can turn on uh, delay. We can turn on echo. So it, it is a very powerful, very advanced system. I haven't even scratched the surface of the functionality and power in the Pioneer DDJSR. It's available from Amazon.com. It's available from any of your music retailers, and it starts at under $600. So as I mentioned earlier, I am not a DJ. Didn't have plans of being a DJ, but after playing around with the DDJSR, I talked to a friend of mine who is a DJ, DJ Relapse, and he's offered to give me a few minutes, half an hour at Club Marquee in San Antonio. And uh, let's take a look at my first outing trying to own the room. The Pioneer DDJSR is available for most major music retailers. It retails for under $600. With a Mac and this controller, you are ready to go with just a few minutes of training. And it is super easy to learn, super easy to use, extremely portable, and a lot of fun. If you like this review, give us a thumbs up on YouTube. Give us some comments if you have some things you'd like to see us review. No matter what, come back and look for more music product reviews from Geek Beat Music.